Hey, what's up? Haru, I'm back for another Pokemon White episode. It has been a week since the last episode, and I apologize for that. I was at Minecon in Florida, and then I came back and got hit by the con flu, the dreaded con flu. Nobody wants to hear that, because if you've ever been to a convention and gotten the convention flu, it is very bad. It takes you out for a couple of days. I was in bed for four days from Wednesday until probably Sunday, and I'm really just getting back into the swing of things now, uh, five days later, <laughs> after I actually recovered, so let's go ahead and heal up, and then we shall go and continue on our journey within the Pokemon universe. So guys, these should be going up daily again, uh, I apologize for that, I actually may just be streaming some of this as well, so keep an eye out on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash powerpuncher, and I'll be tweeting out when I'm live as well on my Twitter. Uh, if you are not concerned by that, they will still be going up daily, so uh, yeah, you can check them out there. But we have our Pokemon leveled up to a decent level at this point, but I think we're still a little bit off challenging the gym. Uh, I'm not too sure. I want to go and check what... Uh, is there anything up here? No? Well, there is, but there is a Hecker here. I'm good, man. We got the Pokemon School. Yeah, it is right. What a nice piece of advice to give everyone, you fat hacker. Sorry, I shouldn't be using the word fat. Large hacker. Yeah, helping others is important. No leftovers, man. I still am under the illusion of checking every bin in the Pokemon universe for leftovers. I have good memories. Uh getting the leftovers when I was younger. So this is the, the area I came in, in, right? There's the gym there, I think. I'm just confused on where to go. So we did go to the coal storage, didn't we? I'm trying to just remember where I left off. What's up? And we managed to rid Team Plasma um, of the area. But I'm just trying to get my bearings back, so the cool storage was here. We do got that. But there was definitely a gym around here, right? That's the market, Driffle City. Was it over here? This is the... No, this was... What? Oh no, okay, okay, this is where I gotta go then, right? I think so. No, this is the way I came in! Welcome to Driffle City! Okay, now I'm three minutes into the video, and we're ready to resume, right? I, I surely cannot be this lost in Pokemon. So we go left here, right? Yes, there we go. There we go. Right six with that jolly music. Just to make sure I'm in the right here, I want to quickly check out my town map. So where am I going next? So, Driffel City, cool. I guess we're heading to Mr. Alton City. And I'm not missing a badge. There's definitely is not a gym here. I'm gonna assume there's not a gym. If there is, I'll come back to it next episode. So, we haven't caught a Pokemon in quite some time. A Staravia! No, not Staravia. Wrong. Wrong generation, Pyro. Okay, I'm gonna send out uh, Violet to take this guy on. Let's go, Violet! What do you got from me? You got a, a Volt Switch? I don't even think Shockwave will do anything. Isn't Shockwave the, the move that is based upon the speed of the Pokemon? Or is it another one that I'm thinking of? I'm not too sure. We got a Mad Scientist. I am Mad Scientist! This Steinskate game actually comes out October 25th, uh, which is the sequel to the original Steinskate, which the anime was made out of. So I might be doing a playthrough of that, although I probably think that game's better suited to streaming, to be honest, because um, it's like a 40-hour game and it's a visual novel, and visual novels are essentially just making small decisions and pressing X. But man, that storm throw is still overpowered as hell. It really is. So... We'll continue here. Hi. 
Am I right or am I wrong? The Weather Institute? No, maybe, I don't know. The Weather Institute? Is that... No, that isn't in this game. Maybe I'm getting them mixed up. Probably am. I've just lost my bearings completely. So just under a month until the new Pokemon game comes out. Actually, it's the 7th of October now, so it's actually just a month away, so we should be able to get this finished if I continue with the daily episodes, because uh, I think 50-ish 50, 50 parts should be enough. So we should be able to get this done. Um, and it would be pretty cool if I put up the last episode of this series the day before Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon come out, so I'll definitely do that and try and get that synced up. Boop. We got Shanti with the Amolga, who is definitely going to get stormed through into Oblivion. Okay, let's go. Boop. Oh no, that was not a good move. Uh, we'll go for a body slam then. Come on in slam, and welcome to the gym. I was actually going to figure I was going to get paralyzed by that, but apparently not. Although knowing my, uh, my luck that this will probably paralyze me. Okay, there we go. Getting them leveling dearly. Yeah, we should be able to storm through this pretty easily. One hit KO, let's go. Oh yeah. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. We just got a berry. We just got a berry. We just got a berry. I wonder what it is. There's a dramatic song for this trainer as well, isn't it? Doo -doo. Power Soul Lady Nicole, you know, my friend uh, is in Japan right now, and this is completely off topic, but my friend is visiting Japan right now on a little trip, and he sent me a Snapchat today, and it was like 35 degrees Celsius in Tokyo and uh, he was in a line to get sushi and there was this long like 30 40 minute line outside the sushi restaurant and there were people with umbrellas in the sun I I, I know the logic behind it you know you, the umbrella is going to block the sun rays but it just seemed so weird that people had umbrellas out in the sun and even then 35 degrees okay it's hot it is pretty hot when I was in uh, Anaheim last week it was uh, about a week and a half ago actually at this point it was uh, 40 degrees and not once did I think I need a umbrella I don't know I guess it's just a completely different culture over there though so it's probably the norm I used to have uh, a hat back when I was like 15 and it had a little umbrella on top and you put it on your head and it was like a an umbrella hat and I thought it was the coolest thing ever but now looking back I probably look like a huge idiot with that thing on Walking into school with it. Oh well, you live and learn, don't you? Live and learn! Hanging on the edge of tomorrow! Sonic. Sonic. The new Sonic is coming up pretty soon. Sonic Mania. It's actually like a 2D Sonic and it looks so sick. So I'll definitely be checking that out. I think it comes out in January or February. So I don't have any more storm throws left. What am I gonna do, guys? What am I gonna do? Uh, I'll go revenge. Let him have the first hit. Well, that's gonna be useful. Oh yeah! I must analyze my defeat. What do we got here? Researching the year seasons, the season research lab. They're growing weed in here, guys. They're growing. This is definitely marijuana plants. I'm just kidding. Don't be smoking weed, it'll kill you.
Uh, okay, it looks like this. No, it definitely is a Deerling, I can, I can confirm to you 100% that the Pokemon that I just showed you is a Deerling. Oh yeah, Hyper Potion. I remember searching for a Pokemon over there uh, in my original Pokemon Black playthrough, but I can't remember which one. Man, Sheldon is so underleveled at this point, so you know what? I'm actually going to switch out my party here, and I'm going to put Violet to the front. We'll take that out. And Meowmix is definitely going to be the next Pokemon that gets thrown out of the party, I think, but I'm kind of at odds. What can I... What can I give? Uh... Or what Pokemon can I put in it in replace of it? So if you guys have any ideas, do let me know. Have we any sort of electric boosting item? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It's just a jolly song. Uh, I'll use a quick I guess. I guess Amolga is already pretty fast though, but every little helps as they say, right? Hi. I will unlock the mechanism and find the secret of your power. Okay. Okay, bring it on. We'll switch it up. It's probably not going to kill it, but... We'll go ahead to... A, a hot sauce. Just to get some XP. Oh wait, no, it's a normal type, isn't it? So... I always forget that Deerling's a normal type Pokemon. Kind of reminds me of a Stantler. But then again, Stantler is one of those Pokemon that's just so, like... I don't know, it's just so plain and vanilla that you kind of forget about it. There's so many Pokemon like that. I actually forgot that does not do critical damage. Or sorry, super effective damage because it's locked to the Pokemon's level. So I guess I'll just... Oh boy. Really? Really, game? Okay. Electro Ball. No, I think the Electro Ball was the thing I was thinking, was it? Yeah, that was the one I was looking for. I think it's probably going to be better than Spark, though, at this point in the game. I mean, Amolga is pretty fast, and I wish, you know, the stats that Amolga had doubled when I, I was gonna say when I gave her the Evil Light, but the Evil Light probably will not affect anything because that's gonna be a Voltorb, isn't it? No, no, it's a, it's a, uh, Fungus. You know, I don't have a, I don't have a, uh, a Water Pokemon, or sorry, a Grass Pokemon, do I? So it might be worth getting one of these guys, because they can learn a lot of things, like Poison Powder, Sleep Powder, etc. I'm gonna throw a Hot Sauce for Yawn. And you always want to cover your bases, right, in terms of typings, so... Yawn. I'm kind of afraid of killing it here with, uh... I want to use Cut. I don't think Cut will kill it, will it? I don't seem to be pretty sad about it. Okay. Oh, no, it's sleeping. Have we any Dusk Balls? I'm just going to throw an Ultra Ball at it because I really can't be bothered. <laughs> Throwing several of my precious Pokeballs at it. Oh, yeah. Mushroom Pokemon. For some reason, this. Uh, well, I have a great name for this guy. And I know you guys are totally gonna agree with it. Portobello. Portobello Road! Portobello. Hopefully, that's the way you spell it. Portobello Mushroom. That's a cool name, isn't it? Portobello. Well, this is some easy XP for Violet, so we'll quickly. Uh, shock this guy 
Oh no. Oh no. It's super effective. Oh crap. I meant to pick up that Pokeball! Carablast. Rock type and bug, I believe. Probably on a battle that I want to stay in for, so. I'm just gonna run. A leaf stone. Okay, Parasol Lady, what do you got? You've got water Pokemon, eh? Well, that sounds like a treat for me. That's an ice Pokemon, that's not good. Although, I don't think Vanillaite has that a great BS speed, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna Electro Ball it here. Looks like a giant sun, doesn't it? Big damage, right? That big damage, though. I will it sh that it is this is like a fish. Not a big fan of fish. Oh yeah, I remember this. It evolves into like a giant ghost balloon thing. Uh oh, I think that's gonna do what, like 27 damage? 26 damage? Good night, sweet prince. Yes. Your man. Sheldon's gonna want to evolve and he's not going to be able to because I'm not letting him. Sorry, Sheldon. Sorry. Okay. Another fungus. It's gonna be a shiny fungus though, ready? Shiny, 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 shiny. No, 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 no. Well, we'll full switch out. And the hot sauce who can burn you alive. Anybody want some crispy mushrooms? Never been a fan of mushrooms myself. Just they I don't know, I just don't like the texture of them. But I know people who do enjoy them quite a bit. I for one, I'm not one of them though. The wild fungus is storing energy. The wild fungus is dead! D E D. Dead. I'm just kidding. I know it's D E A D. Hi. Yes, show me how energetic you are. Minako. Okay. Level 27. I'm actually not sure I can take this on, but I'll give it a go. Well, that wasn't very good, and neither is that. You've made me angry. You've made me very angry, Minico. Or Mincino. Min... Min... Mink... Minxino? How do you pronounce that one, guys? Let me know. Akoma. Go out and use your Raging Demon. Attack on them. Now, you must die. No, I'm really angry. Emolga, um, I'll stay in. I can take Emolga on. Good. That's not good at all. Let's go, hot sauce. Oh, gosh. 
This ain't good at all. But we can take a hit, right? As long as this one lands, give me a crit while you're at it. Oh, the don't even need to crit the RNG. Too kind. Okay, Richard, well done. I'm gonna throw Sheldon to the frontier. Cause we got a hiker up here, and I assume he's gonna be using mainly rock on ground type. And this will be our last battle of the episode, but you know, now we're back on it. They often say the hardest part in doing something is getting started. Oh wow, is it actually blocked off? Hi old man, what's up? Kobaline? Co yeah, I remember that, I remember that. Okay, it seems you don't want to fight me either, so... I'm just gonna go and talk to this... Hey mister, have this! This is a good idea, I'm gonna heal up here. And I think, with that, it's probably a good place to end the episode, so guys... There we are, back on the wagon once more with Pokemon White. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I shall catch you tomorrow for another exciting episode. If I have missed anything, do let me know, and I will correct it in the next one. But until then, I will see you later. Have a very good day, good night, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next episode. Heart, Santa Night. Bye-bye.